All right, finally finished the pulse motor. Let's do a quick overview. So it started with this 14 gauge magnet wire right next to a fluorescent bulb that's on and that produces, induces the coil and produces an AC current which is coming down to a full wave bridge rectifier and that is going into our camera flash circuit charging a capacitor. The capacitor leads come out, runs past this on off switch and then connects to both sides of four coils wound in series. Let's take a closer look at the pulse motor. Everything on here was scrap except the bobbins I wound the coils on. Um, I think that was $3.50 for 12 so it cost me $3.50 for this project. Uh, the hard drive I got out of an old computer um, I wasn't ever planning on using again. The um, plexiglass and the feet, all this stuff laying around in the shop. So uh, what did I find out? Yes, you can gather power using a coil um, from a fluorescent tube. Is it efficient? No, it's not. Um, so I was able to prove in the previous video that you can charge this capacitor uh, to 7 volts in 8 hours. That tells me 8 coils would give me a full charge in 43 hours. That's crazy. So for this demonstration I'm using a battery. What happens after the 43 hours? This is what you get. Bam maybe 10 revolutions <laughs> all right let's take you through the build real quick here's the concept getting a fluorescent tube to stimulate a coil and run a motor there's the computer i got the hard drive from uh flash circuit bobbins i was going to use the aussie motor circuit but that didn't end up working out um, here's the hard drive and cutting and putting it together winding the coils, uh, started taking pictures of promising results, and we got up to 7 volts. Here's the frame, putting that together, there's the arms, and that's it guys. I want to thank Russ and the judges, thanks for putting this contest on and donating your time and uh, efforts. I think it's a great cause, uh, connecting minds and sharing ideas and meeting new people. So. Good luck to all the contestants and can't wait till next year. See you guys.